H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Let's continue. So in the last session, we, we started with this first vector tool. We discussed about what is this first vector tool and then how to start with this first vector tool. Today we will continue with this perfecter tool and we will complete this uh, perfecter tool by today. Okay. Yes. So today what we will do is we will be completing this perfecter tool, how to work with this perfecter tool. And also here we will be learning how to work with your Android to Android phones, how to work with the iPhone, I, iOS phones, both we will cover. See basically what we will do is once you join any organization, if you are having your real devices, then you are done with you, you are uh, ready to start with your execution. But getting all the real devices, it is really challenge. It is really difficult. So for that, what we will do is we will be using some emulators for our testing. But emulators also is not reliable. I will always prefer to test my application with the real devices. This kind of situation. You can go with these tools, perfecto tools, which will provide the real devices in the cloud. So what you can do is you, you can you can go to this uh, vendor. This perfecto vendor, what they will do is they will provide the real devices. They will provide absolutely real devices. These are real devices they are providing. Now what you can do is you can connect to that real device and then you can uh, do the test whatever you want. It's Similar to your uh, real device, whatever you have in your hand, absolutely same. The only difference is, instead of carrying the device, you are logging to that uh, application and then you are accessing your required device. You can access your Android devices and iPhones. See, what these people are doing is, they are providing you some devices for your uh, testing purpose. This is a trial account. You, even you can also... Oh, I mean, you can have a, you can have a trial account for your learning purpose. They will be giving you like around uh, seven hours practice. They will not give you more than that. They will give you seven or seven, I guess. They will give you one hour practice within seven days. In in seven days, maximum you can work for one hour. Okay. So here I'm launching this launch this mobile device. Now it will show you all the available devices. That means. You can play with these devices for your uh, testing purpose. You can use any of the device for your testing purpose. So right now, these devices are available in your catalog. So now, I will show you both the phones, like how to work with your Android and then how to work with your iPhones. Both the things I will show you. So if you want to work with your uh, Android phone, first let me take that Android phone. Yes, I will also show you if you want to uh, record this application. I want to record this application and then I wanted to see that how it is executing. I wanted to see that application. I wanted to show this application to my management. That also is possible. I will show you one second. Let me take one Android device. I will take uh, some Nexus I will take. Okay. I am taking this one. Okay. I'm taking this one. So, what I'm doing is Nexus. Google Nexus is there by any chance? Yes. Uh, oh, someone is took this one. I, I wanted to take this Google Nexus, but uh, this is showing the status as busy. That means this is using by someone else. This is using by someone else. Okay. And these are absolutely real devices. You can see that each each device is having phone number. That means it's a real device. Okay, fine. Let me take the Samsung devices. I'm taking one of the device. I'm taking this one. 
Galaxy Nexus. Okay, select the device whichever uh, you are planning to work, whichever you are planning to use, select the device and click on open. Now the device will open. See, this is absolutely real device and then you can uh, take your application and then start playing with this uh, device. So it depends on your uh, internet connection. If your internet connection is too good, then you will be getting your uh, device very quickly. Yes. So, yes, Soma, right? I will give you the link. You, what you can do is you can go there and then you can register it. Let me show you that. Yes. Okay, Ruchi, right? You are asking a good question. Uh, why some devices are having Wi-Fi connection and don't have phone number? See, you remember what is our uh, testing? When you are testing your mobile application, sometimes you will be testing your application with your Wi-Fi connection. Sometimes you will be testing with your carrier connection like 3G, 4G connection. That is the reason even these people are also providing you that uh, devices in your catalog saying that some devices are having Wi-Fi, some devices are having the carrier, that means phone number. So what you will do? You will be testing your application with the, both the devices so that you can cover all the scenarios. That is the intention they are providing few devices with Wi-Fi connection and few devices with your carrier. That is nothing but your SIM. Got it? Let me so here so Soma right what you can do is you can go here this is perfect tool what you can do is you can register here this is right as I said that this is seven days trial and maximum one hour they cannot give you more than that so here what you can do is you can start free. You can start free. I'm giving you the link. I'm giving you the link. Play with this. Over the weekend, play with this. And then you are all set with your perfect tool. But here, make sure that you are giving your uh, company email ID. It's not uh, Gmail, Hotmail or uh, Yahoo. If you are giving that web email, it will not allow you. Make sure that you are giving your company email ID. Nothing will happen because it's just a trial account. No credit card is required. Nothing is required. But only thing is, they will allow only company email address. Just give your company email address uh, to activate your account. After seven days, anyway, it will expire. Nothing to worry. Just fill all this form and make sure that your company is your uh, your business address and then click on submit. That's it. You can start. Okay. Fine. Someone is reserved this device. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can you can use this uh, uh, tool for your uh, practice purpose. So I'm using some one of the device here. So this is one of the Samsung uh, Galaxy Tab. Now here, what is my intention? My intention is to install my required application. Say for example, you are uh, working with your H2K Infosys application, and then you are uh, you are planning to install your application here. Huh? Start testing your application. If you want to test, if you want to install your application, one more thing, this is your real device. How can you see that it's a real device? You can see that this is having your Play Store. Play Store will be available only with your real device, not with your emulator. 
Okay. Now I wanted to install my H2K Infosys application here. Is it possible? Yes. Now what you can do is go to your here in this options here. Here install. You can see that install. Click on this install. Click on install here. And here also they clearly mention you can see that if it is Android you will be having the extension is .apk if it is iPhones you will be having .ipa so I can now uh, allow only these formats only okay right now I am wanted to install my Android application so obviously my file should have the .apk file click on next browse for your apk file and here I'm having my APK file, C, APK, select your APK file, click on open, click on open, click on next, click on run. That's it. Now you can see that it will be, your application will be installing here your application will be installed here. Now it is installed successfully. Now you can see the message saying that yes, I am done with your installation. Okay. Installation is done. Now what you can do is you can go back to your device. This is my device. You can see that where is my HPK Infosys application. See, your application is installed here. Now what you can do is you can take your test cases and then start playing with this uh, device. See what? No, in real scenario also you have to install SOMA everywhere. See SOMA right, whatever we are doing here, you will be doing exactly the same in real time also. Even in real time also, you will be getting that application from your developer. That means you will get .apk file from your developer. Once you get that .apk file from your developer, what you need to do? You need to install your app in your device. Without installing, how will you test it? Even while installing also, you will check your different scenarios as per our test case document. Okay. Once I install my application, then what I will do is I will take my test case document and then start executing each and every test case on my application. You know that uh, how to write your test cases. Once your test cases are ready, take your test cases and apply on this uh, uh, device to check each and every test case if my expected and actual results are matching pass and if it is not matching I will say that it is fail if it is fail also we already discussed that how to report the defects for your uh, mobile application testing when you are doing your mobile application testing if any test case fails then your defect comes into picture then whenever if you are getting your defect how to report the defect also we discussed now say for example, now I am working with this, see, looks right, uh, my H2K Infosys application is not coming properly in my tab. I am testing my application in tab, but when I am testing my application, it is not coming, it is not like, uh, its UI is not coming properly in my tab. I will report the defect, but while reporting the defect, I want to take the screenshots, or I want to take my log files. Is it possible with this tool? Because we learned that uh, with your uh, real device if you want to take the logs or if you want to take your uh, screenshots you will be using your monitor tool. You remember? Similar to that, is it possible to take uh, logs and screenshots for this real device? That means your perfecto mobiles? Yes, it is there. If you see in the right hand side you can see this one. This one. Screenshot. When you say that screenshot, whatever the current screen is there, that screen will be captured here. If you say your screenshot, whatever the current screen is there, that will be captured. So if you say that screenshot, this particular screen will be captured. Let me see that screenshot. When you say that screenshot, it will be taking the current screen of your mobile. See, it's captured. Now what you can do is if you want to save to your local machine or so here you are having two options save to repository and save to PC which is nothing but 
saved repository is nothing but if you want to save to your uh, perfect tool itself that means i don't want to i don't want to save this in my local machine i wanted to save in my repository itself when i say that save to repository itself it will go here under this because you, you can save here so that uh, in future what you can do is in future i wanted to i wanted to uh, use this screenshot then what you can do is no need to create separately no need to create your uh, separately and you can always access this repository and here it is available otherwise i wanted to save in my local machine you can also save in a local machine save to pc i wanted to save to my local machine yes you can save to your local machine both the options are there that's what i am trying to say yes i wanted to save to my local machine okay i wanted to save you can save it you can absolutely save it and you can uh, refer this in your uh, future uh, testing see here the point is when i say that uh, uh, testing when you are doing your testing you can take your uh, screenshot log file for each and every device like how you will test your uh, real device okay now let me take one more screenshot click on this one see you can take any screenshot see i got one more screenshot this is the previous one and this is the current one so you can take i mean one more screenshot and there is no uh, stop for you you can take any number of screenshot by using this tool so you when you are testing your uh, device what you can do is you can uh, test your device with your uh, available test cases and while doing your testing if you want to take your screenshots if you want to take your log file absolutely fine you can do that this is how you can do your uh, how can how you can take your screenshots fine next now say for example i want to take the log files of this uh, application that means log files are very much useful when you are reporting your defect see if you are reporting your defect let me show you let me install one more application i will tell you which kind of situation log files are very much required let me let me install one more application install install next browse Any bank, you can install your any application. Process is same. Okay, install. Now go back to your device. Process here. Yeah, you can see here. this is the application so now i just imagine that you are working with this application and in this application now you are working with this particular application and i started testing with this application when you are testing when you testing right you got one error so when you get the error what you will do is you will report that issue to your developer but your developer need to have the root cause why you are getting this issue because if you don't know the root cause it is very difficult to fix the issue 